Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ross here. I was gonna make a quick video showing how I do my multi boxing in Anarchy Online. Just in case anybody wants to use the same method, I like it. Uh, it's not very complex, but I like to keep things simple. Uh, first of all, you can see I have a ton of hot bars here. I keep all my attack perks and actions all mapped to a single button and the way you do that is you've got to have them all showing on a hotbar and then you gotta go out into your key bindings and map them all to whatever button you want to use I use the comma button so when I'm playing my characters I'm just hitting that one button all the time one button wonder so you can see I've got a whole bunch of stuff mapped to comma some other things I map to specific buttons are like my procs I map to the K button, so every time I zone or whatever, I just hit the K button. Reek does my procs. Uh, F is follow. Shift Y is my jetpack. It'll yell me up there. Anyway, <clears throat> so map things to the buttons you want to use, basically. But yeah, basically put all your perks and attacks to a single button. You might want to leave out uh, AOE perks or... You don't want to do nanos because nanos slow down your attacking. I would map another button to nanos. Like I have my, on all my characters, my primary debuff is the Z button. Uh, my like secondary, tertiary. I just use the C, V, and B. You can use whatever buttons you want. So, uh, that's that. And you can see when I hit the comma button, it spams my chat window with a billion things here because it's trying to do all those things at once. I'm firing off, you know, inside and other just random buffs, like Bio Cocoon and stuff on other characters. I have that go off with comma all the time, just so I don't have to worry about it. Anyway, uh, so then I'm going to drag this over here so you can see. You need an auto assist script. So wherever your script folder is in Anarchy Online, you can see on my computer I have a special folder set up. This isn't the default location for scripts, yours will probably be different. Anyway, if you go to script folder, I have one called AA for auto assist, and it's just this. I, I type, <clears throat> like I'll go here to my NT, AA, I'm going to type in my keeper's name, Ross. And so you can see down here it starts spamming away, target notify, target notify, target notify. So it's always trying to assist my keeper. That's the way this little script works. So if you want to write that down, save that in your scripts folder. If you save it as a text file, in the game you're gonna have to do whoops you would have to type aa dot text and then the name of you know a character but I save it without that txt extension just so I can do aa alright and so then uh, this script it assists whatever argument you give it it delay it waits one second and then it calls itself again with that same argument so it's a recursive thing it just loops and loops and loops forever I have a separate script that just has, is blank and it's called stop and then if I want to stop assisting I just do stop and it should stop whatever you're doing. I'm going to leave that on. <clears throat> so right now my NT is assisting my keeper um, <clears throat> but he's not following me around so that's not good so now I'm going to show you my other big multi-boxing thing which is this auto hotkey not hotkey net. I used to use hotkey net uh, but you had to write a new script for every single team configuration you could possibly have and so I had like 20 or 30 220 characters and I didn't want to write you know orders of magnitude on that 3,000 different scripts for every possible team combo. I like auto hotkey because this script works with just every open AO window so if I have two characters, if I have ten characters, twenty, doesn't matter. <laughs> However you got logged in, this is going to find those windows and it's going to broadcast the keys to every window. So I'm not a good programmer. I didn't write this. I adjusted it from someone's World of Warcraft script. But basically, <clears throat> these are the hotkeys that it will broadcast. I have the comma button, the period button, Z, C, V, B, N, K, R, escape. I like escape, that way I can break attack on all my characters at once. Um, Shift Y, M, you can add more in here, just whatever you want. Basically just copy and paste one of these and uh, adjust it to your liking. 
Anyway, and then it calls this little method here, which uh, sends this key to all the AO windows. So basically, when that is running, and I'll go ahead and start it up now. You double click on these once you've got auto hotkey installed and it's running down here in the system tray so now it's running <clears throat> and uh, I have a hotkey also um, I didn't show it in my F10 menu oh yeah I did it's the F button so there's also a um, little script here for the minus key where is it I can't even find it in here Oh, it's down here it's a separate thing a separate little script and this is whenever I hit the minus button and you could probably change this to a different uh, button if you wanted to <clears throat> where is it oh here it is right here so send follow with the minus button it calls this other script and what this does is every character hits F2 and then F so they will all target the team leader and then follow that team leader but you gotta make sure on every character you have a follow button on your hotbar which is made by macro f follow and then you can put that on your thing that's a follow macro and then you assign a button to that which I assigned F so hopefully that makes sense <clears throat> and uh, anyway so now you can see if I run my guy out here and then I'm hitting my minus button boom my NT targets me and he runs over and he's following me so that way every time I zone a whole group of characters I just hit that minus button boom they're all following me alright and uh, that's pretty much it so now if I go attack something I'll attack this guy so it's out of range <clears throat> so my NT whoa he's not following me properly oh yes he he's just screen lag anyway so my NT should have targeted that thing now which he did see he's targeted him and now if I hit my comma button not only is my keeper gonna fire off everything he can even though he's out of range but the NT will fire off nukes as well and blammo so I fired off everything I got he fired off everything he's got which he wasn't close enough to even he died too fast before any of that stuff went off but yeah that's how it works and so yeah, I usually roll with a team of six characters. I play my doctor. I have his uh, improved life channeler heal set to comma. And so I'm just always hitting comma, and they're all attacking. The doctor's always spamming that team heal. And I use that with uh, alien playfields and Metar, Vortex, just a lot of endgame raids. I only have to use the team heal. I never use a bodily invigoration. If you were doing something like Beast or one of the other massive heavy hitting bosses, you might need it but that's because my team set up I usually use my keeper and an engineer and a crat so with all those blockers and debuffs and everything the mobs are just they never even hit anybody it's pretty nice and the engineer blinds etc but yeah if you have any uh, questions go ahead and leave it in the comments below I'll try to answer and I'm gonna put a link in the description to that uh, auto hotkey script so go get yourself auto hotkey feel free to use my script if you want to change it however you want tailor it to your uh, your preferences. I got a buddy of mine that uses it and he changed it to shift 1, shift 2, shift 3. I think that's what he changed it to for his hotkeys. He didn't want to use like ZC and B and all those. Those A lot of those buttons are mapped to other things and so I had to go in and clear them out like fast attack fling. I went and cleared these out. Whatever. Tailor it to however you want. That's the general gist of it. <clears throat> and uh, there you go. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, um, with that script included with it is uh, this button, pause, the pause button, the pause break button on your keyboard will pause this script. So if I'm typing in org chat and stuff and I hit the K button a lot, you can see my character's firing off his procs there. It gets annoying. You don't want to accidentally hit a comma button and nuke something. So, uh, yeah, you can hit the pause button to uh, suspend, per uh, temporarily turn off the auto hotkey script. And then the pause button again should re-enable it. And the shift pause uh, shuts it down. Or you can also shut it down manually. Go in here in your system tray and I just right click exit. Done. Yeah, so I forgot to add that little tidbit in there.
I think that's it. Thanks for watching.